And yet again, guys, this is again the comic. The comic guy. How are you guys doing today? Thank you again for coming to one of my video blogs. And today we're going to be talking a little bit about some Star Wars. Well, let me tell you. Um, I was reading a, an article in comicbook.com. And I uh, have water. More water. Um, sorry about that. I'm reading an article that is I that just came out. Um, <coughs> just came out yesterday, and it's, it and it's it's a pretty interesting way of seeing this. Now, maybe you guys don't agree. Maybe you guys do. If you guys do agree. Or don't agree, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the article. Would you guys like this to happen? Or would you guys not like it to happen? That is all up to you guys, Star Wars fans out there. Let's see. Star Wars Jumbo Jagger addresses Finn Bean and Jedi, and Jedi Theory. So, it says the marketing teams behind Star Wars films have been. Champions of this direction. Cleverly manipulating audience expectations since the first footage we saw of The Force Awakens. Audience initially thought that young Boyega's Finn would be the hero, only for Rey to truly embrace the world of the Force. Despite her obvious skills, some think Finn still has Force abilities. In opinion, Boyega also similarly shares. Who would I like to be a Jedi? For Jedi, presided to digital spot. I think I would be more interesting if they had more than one person be a Jedi. But I think that is one of the unspoken laws of Star Wars. The only have one who has to go away and train. Various installments with the saga have featured multiple Jedi show of their powerful abilities, but whether it be uh, Quan Gon or Obi Wan training Anakin or Yoda training Luke. Boyega understands that the film often focuses solely on one person's journey to embrace the ultimate power. Another common theme in the saga is that the duality and balance of the light and dark side of the Force, constantly creating conflict over the true power. Boyega was quick to point out that. While both Sith and Jedi are known for their powers, there are many other characters out there that are potentially just as powerful, but in different ways. That's a good point. I hope it takes an interesting turn, but like I said, it, of his character's journey. Not in the terms of being a Jedi, but there's a load more stronger characters in the Star Wars universe that can go up against Jedis, and they don't necessarily have to be a Jedi. I would like to explore that more. The whole Bubba Fett vibe, I would like to explore that for Finn. But who knows? But the comments about comparing Finn to Bubba Fett most likely don't initiate. He will become a bounty hunter, although we can assume that off the table. In the Empire Strikes Back, Bubba Fett was able to outsmart him sort of take him captive to deliver him to Jabba the Hutt, only for Fett to swiftly be defeated early on in the Return of the Jedi. Hopefully, Finn doesn't suffer the same overwhelming fate. See more of Finn's journey when the Lad Jedi hits theaters in December 15. Well, that article was pretty interesting, don't you think? That would be interesting if, and I know a lot of people are going to be like, No, the kind of guy, there's no way that Finn could be a Jedi. Uh, he was... A clone, and he was uh, well, not a clone, but he was a he was a soldier for the empire. And there's no way because he, Star Wars is like it says. Star Wars film has been champions of this direction. I'm not saying that he is. It would be interesting if he is. A big difference between knowing that he is and interesting. That he is. That will be a Big, big twist in the whole Star Wars films if there was more than one Jedi since back when um, Gordon Gunn and Obi-Wan 
and the, the Star Wars 1, um, there was, a, a, you know, a lot of Jedis. And I know that after Order 66, all the Jedis have died that we know of. But as you can see that after Order 66, Obi-Wan did survive. But he wasn't Tatooine. Looking after Luke. So, could there be more Jedis out there? Maybe Finn is, maybe he has a Jedi. Um, you know, maybe he is, maybe he's not. I'm not saying that he is. Don't be like, oh, the comic guy, you think that he is. I'm not saying that he is, I'm just saying that, hey, it would be awesome if there was another Jedi. Could it be Finn? Could it be somebody else? I'm not saying. We all still wondering to this point who Oswin's parents. And me and the hitman went been on this verge. We even argued and discussed this many, many times. Who could be Ray's parents? Who knows? Who knows? There's a lot of possibilities out there. If you guys think that you guys know who Ray's parents are, write down below. Who do you guys think that Ray's parents are? Would it, could it be, and um, she could be a daughter of Obi-Wan, I mean, a granddaughter of Obi-Wan. She could be a granddaughter of, you know, Papa's, uh, Papa's. I mean, it could be of a, a Emperor. Um, so, or she could even be Kylo Ren's daughter somehow, or related to Kylo Ren. But ain't nobody knows, I'm not saying, that she is. I'm just saying she could be she could be Luke's daughter for all we know. I'm not saying that she is. I'm not saying that she's not. But we have to wait to December 15th to see the last Jedi to even see if we are actually gonna get a point in that of who is a true Jedi. Or am I a true Jedi? Here's my little moon. I could be a Jedi myself. But it again, I could not be. You guys may never know if I have a Jedi Force. Other than that, guys, this is the comic guy. Thank you again for coming to my one of my videos. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys press that like. And I will see you guys next time. This is the comic guy. Peace!